Hello, it's 2020. That means a new series. I'm joking. I've been waiting to unbox this for a long time. It arrived during the 2019 EOY weekend, so I couldn't unbox it. But immediately after, I got really, really, really sick. All I've been doing is being sick, and sleeping, being sick, and sleeping. Technically I'm not recovered yet, I'm still sick, but today's not so bad, so I decided to finally unbox this. Nobody will ruin this for me, nobody will. Okay, moving on. This might sound a bit dumb, but I was quite hesitant to do this video for a while now, as my channel is more of an ensemble star channel in a way, I think. Who is this? What is this? This is not N stars. What's going on? They've changed. But A3 has been a big part of my life, a big part of my interests, for a real long time. I will never leave N stars, so don't worry. With that being said, today we'll be unboxing this. The A3 Mixed Seasons LP. I've waited so long for this. I'm excited. Alright, let's finally unwrap this bad boy. Front view. Delicious. Back view. Delicious. Right side view. Delicious. Front side view. Delicious. Left side view. Delicious. Back side view. Delicious. Hot, fresh, and tasty. Just like how I like my. It's the A3 Mix Seasons LP Special Edition. Obviously. It's supposed to look like a personal pan pizza box. I love this concept so much, the colors are great, and the attention to details. All of those little details make this so much better. It looks so believable. It makes me smile. I love it. Okay, let's finally open this up. My dudes, the wrapping paper is so freaking cute. So so freaking cute. The artwork is in the same style as the artwork from the OST. I've always adored this art style. It's a little wacky and dare I say, kind of derpy, but in the best way possible. I like how the colors are playing off with this pizza theme that they're going with. The reds, greens and yellows look really nice all together. It's so charming, I love it. Sakuya, Masumi, Tuzuru, Itaru, Shitoron, Chikage, Tenma, Yuki, Muku, Misumi, Kazunari, Kumon, Bandi, Juza, Taichi, Omi, Sakyo, Azami, Tsumugi, Tasuku, Hisoka, Homare, Azuma, Gai. The CD cover looks really retro. It's simple but super effective. It somehow reminds me of those to go food packaging. Oh wow, it's really reflective. It's super reflective. There's a nice yellow squiggle, which I think is supposed to be mustard. That's cool. Here's the song list song lyrics paper thing. What is it actually called? I don't know. I never know. I'm such an expert. Anyway, I really like the design. I love how every part and element in this box are cohesive in design to each other. It's so cute. It looks like a menu from a retro old school diner. Next we have the bonus OST CD and mini stage digest movie that comes with this set. The super reflectiveness strikes again. Instead of mustard, there's now ketchup. Yum yum yummy. The little pamphlet with the list of the OST tracks. The other side gives us a quick rundown of the Digest movie's contents. And last, but certainly not least, we have... 
It's the visual of the first mix performance. Udo Motetita. Or, I Come With The Night, starring Italo Andobandi. Beautiful. Excellent. Wonderful. Superb. Exquisite. Magnificent. One expensive man, and one mega expensive man. I wish that was me. Why are they so good looking? My dude, you look really great but... You, that hair. Ooh. That outfit. Ooh. That hand. Ooh. That pout. Ooh. I'm feeling some sort of way. This is illegal. I love the cool colors. It really sets the tone. I love them. So good. So 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 good. <laughs> Next up we have... The visual of the second mix performance Kakemegure Or Run Around the Field Starring Tuzuru and Tasuku Just visually This gives me real strong sports anime ending song vibes Am I right or am I right? Do I want to be the sunset creeping on Tuzuru Or do I want to be the soccer ball So that Tasuku Can kick me in the face So many important questions Love the warm colors They make me feel good I feel safe They're both so good Next we have the visual of the third mix performance The Luminous Circus, or what I like to call it Welcome to the Luminous Show! Starring Omare and Kazunari This is, in the words of Hibiki Wataru Amazing! I love the color palette, they both look amazing I love them, that's me right there Look at that face, so charming but with a hint of danger And that face, full of joy and I immediately smile looking at him This makes me really happy, they're both so good Everything in this is so good, the greatest showman is quaking <coughs> And next we have The visual of the fourth mix performance Last Runway Or, The Last Runway Starring Yuki and Taichi When I first saw the visuals for this event I died, got resurrected, and then died again I mean hello, that hair, chef's kiss I love the fashion school uniform It's so stylish, yet so professional And the outfit he made, so colorful I love the color blocking and the mix of patterns It may look chaotic but it really works A fashion genius, a fashion icon I really enjoyed this event story a lot it's so good. That's confidence right there. That's a model right there. Love this. Love them. Love them so much. Project Runway could never. <coughs> Up next we have the visual of the fifth mix performance. Inyo no Yoi. Or Yin Yang Midnight. Starring Sakyo and Boazuma. This is real beautiful. That sleeve. Beautiful. That leg. Stunning. Love the lilacs in this one. And it makes our bubble wrap loving man stand out. But even though it may look like the lilacs are overshadowing him, his ethereal beauty is so strong that you can't take your eyes off him. They're both so beautiful. They left me speechless at their beauty. <coughs> and finally we have the visual of the sixth mix performance. Scarlet Mirror, starring Hisoka and Chikage. Legendary. Iconic. Sherlock who? The only Holmes and Moriarty I know is these two right here. I like that the angle is not quite eye level. Looks like you're on the floor begging on your knees. And they're just looking down at you all knowingly. Love that. Just look at those expressions. The color's great. The story's great. They're great. I love all of them so much. I'm so so happy we have them. So that was the unboxing. I really liked the entire concept, the visuals, the aesthetics of this box set. I love it so much. I like pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? And the songs. The songs are so good. I love them so much. I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can listen to all the songs on Spotify. But if you can and want to, you can support it by the actual CD. I want to share my top 3 favorites from this album. Which was really hard because I really loved all the songs. They are so good, so amazing. Chef's Kiss. How to choose. It was very hard to choose. I really thought long and hard about a top 3. A lot of criteria and factors went into it. But I finally decided on a top 3. So without further ado, 
Here's my top 3 songs from the A3 Mixed Seasons LP. Oh also, I excluded Growing Pain and Hokago Midnight because they have an unfair advantage because they were released in late 2018 and I've been jamming to them for a long time so I'm very biased to them but do let me know your top 3 songs, okay? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not